Hi, welcome to my video on the review of polynomial functions. Uh, the review of polynomial functions, polynomial functions y equals a x cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Now this is a cubic polynomial degree, degree 3. And also, you can also look at algebra 2 under polynomial functions. <clears throat> you can also look at pre-calculus under extra inequalities, which has inequalities on the cubic. That would help you understand what we're now doing. But in this case, let's look at the uh, graph of y equals x cubed. y equals x cubed, the, when x is 0, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 1. When x is 2, y is 8. Let's say, let's put the 8 way up here. And let's go on the other side. x is negative 1. Negative 1 cubed is negative 1. And uh, negative 2 cubed is negative 8. So it's a mirror image, one side on the other. So this cubic function comes in like this, like a sideways S that we reviewed before. There it is. And notice that it's reflected in the origin because this side here, that's re it's reflected in um, negative x and negative y. And Notice it only has one x-intercept at zero. Uh, a cubic can have three x-intercepts, or it can have two x-intercepts, but it has to have at least one x-intercept. Now, negative x cubed, well, that's a reflection of this one. So it's zero is zero. One is a negative one. Uh, two is a negative eight. So way down here. And negative 1 is a 1, and negative 2 is negative 8, so it's, it's reflected in the x-axis. There it is. Again, only one x-intercept, that's 0. So th these are the basic ones. This is a reflection of this one. Now, what about uh, more cubic graphs? So right here we have x squared and an x, so that's a cubic, but this one has 2. So we have x is equal to 0, and we have x is equal to 2. So we got a 0, and we have x is 2. But notice here, there's a square. So this is like a parabola, it's bouncing off at 0. And also notice that this is a plus. When this is a plus, it will come down from the right side and go here. When it's a negative, it will come up from the fourth quadrant and go to the second. Because this is positive, it will start up here and come down. So we have 2 and 0. So it's starting here because it's positive. It will come down and add 2. It's a single. There's only one exponent of 1, so it comes down like this. It goes on through. Now, as it gets down here, Remember, it bends and has to go back up. And it goes back up because that's a square, look like a parabola, it bounces off and it comes down here. What we're going to find, find now is where this bending occurs right here by, by doing the derivative. So this cubic has a bending right here and a bending right here. So this is where at this point, zero, x is zero, and right here, whatever this x value is, that's when the uh, points have a, the tangent has a zero slope. And let's continue with more examples. We got y equals negative, and this is a negative, so that means it's coming up from here this way. So x equals zero is x equals negative two, and x equals three. These are the x-intercepts. It has three x-intercepts. And remember, it's coming up from the bottom. Because it's negative, it's coming up here. So it's, And notice these are linears. Because they're linears, they won't bounce. They'll go on through. So we're coming up from here. Hit the 3. We're going on through. Now it bends. It comes down. Goes through to 0. 
it comes down and it gotta go back up through here so it bends so there's that cubic graph and again it has uh, a bends here so we're going to find this point and this point a cubic this cubic graph has this notice that this is a maximum and this is a minimum so a cubic graph this cubic graph has one maximum one minimum point and I'll also mention that on this side whatever value of x is here on this side is a negative slope on this side it's a positive slope the far as here and then right here it changes again and goes into a negative slope so it's decreasing increasing decreasing so slope of the tangents here is negative slope of the tangents here is positive slope of the tangents here is negative number five we have again the linear and linear and linear this is a plus plus was coming down from the top we have an x-intercept at negative three x-intercept at one and an x-intercept at four and again it's coming down from the top and notice I, how quick I do it when you put a negative three here it makes this zero so the product is zero when you put one here it makes this zero so the product is zero okay we're coming down from the top towards the four again they're all linear so they go up they go through it's coming down they go through they bend they go back up and they go up through keep going and I'm not worried how far they go up that I know but it has to come down again in uh, this derivative which is if I expand this out to make it a trinomial or to, sorry to make it a cubic expand it out into ax cubed plus bx squared etc then we do the derivative and we'll find what this value of this point is here what the value of x is here that'll give us the values that'll give us these points where the bending occurs so again notice that this is the minimum this is the maximum slope on this side is positive slope here is negative slope here is positive so that's increasing decreasing increasing and this is the tangent right here at this peak point is slope is zero the tangent right here is slope is zero and one more uh, y equals negative x plus 2 x minus 2 squared and the x intercepts are negative 2 and 2 and at 2 which is here it'll bounce off so it's either going to bounce off like this or it's going to bounce off like it look like a parabola but it's negative and negative means it'll come up from the bottom so it's coming up from the bottom and here it comes I'm not worried about exactly where it's going but it hits 2 and 2 is a square so it bounces off comes down and I could let x equal 0 and get to what this x-intercept is if you let x equal 0 here that gives me a 4 that gives me an 8 so that's negative 8 so that goes way way down and then it crosses and comes back up and at negative 2 it goes on through so there it is again the peak point is right here and the peak point is and we're not sure but we know it goes through this x-intercept so it, 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 it could go down further it don't have to bend right at this x-intercept so it's something what the curve looks like and on this side that's a negative on uh, between this point and this point that's a positive slope and to the whatever value of x this is to the left it's a negative slope so that's a review of the cubic polynomial that we're going to deal with in the next few videos again doing the first derivative or doing the derivative we find by letting it equal zero we find the values of x for the slope of the tangent is zero but we're going to do the cubic and again if you like my video click the like button click the subscribe button visit my math website www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me my videos and the content that's the content on my youtube channel called math fully explained just one word thank you for viewing my video hope the video helped you bye bye